Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's our 2020 Transformation Week, and we are bringing in the new year refocused, refreshed, and with resolutions. So it's important to find ways to stay centered, and one way that I like to do that is through yoga. It's always fun to take my sisters through some relaxing sequences, and today we'll be doing a few poses that help reduce anxiety, relieve chronic back pain, and foster good sleep. Also, some hip openers. Everybody knows that I suffer from back pain, so I've, I've recently discovered that your hips being tight is also why your back could be hurting. So, ladies, you ready? Yes. Yes, we are. Start. We're just going to get right into it and flow style. The first pose is downward facing dog. So everybody turn this way. Facing this way, inhale your arms up over your head. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and slowly come down to your toes and just kind of walk out. Kind of in plank style, but your butt in the air. Downward facing dog. Now, in downward facing dog, you can use this stretch to stretch your calf muscles, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, or you can use it to stretch your back. Obviously, I like to stretch my back. The goal is you want to try to have your heels on the floor and your hands at the same time. Mm. So, ladies, swing your right leg back up, back and up, and swing it through next to your right hand into lunge position. Okay, and then you're going to drop your left knee down and then take your right hand, put it on the inside of your right knee, the inside of your right knee. And this is called Twisted Dragon. Mm. And then I want you to drop your left elbow down. Or if you can't drop your left elbow, you can keep, you can keep your, your hand flat. And kind of turn and look towards your right knee and push your knee out. Oh, yes, yes. This is a good, uh -huh, okay, girl, good. let me tell you something. This is a good hip opener, good hip stretch and slowly come back in. Go back into runner's lunge. Okay, and then I want you to take your right foot and walk it over to your left hand. Then drop your right knee out. Relax your left knee down and relax into pigeon. Now pigeon, you can stay here, get the same stretch. If you're more advanced, you can come all the way down. But pigeon is, pigeon is an excellent hip opener, and, and every position is right. So as long as you get the stretch, it's not a contest. Yoga is not a contest. So as long as you get the stretch, this stretch is great for your back, for your hips. It's a good time all around, child. Mm -hmm. It's a good time now. So now you're going to come back on, uh, on your hands and release your left leg, your left knee off the floor, and bring your back leg back into downward facing dog, Ooh. your right leg into downward facing dog. That's good. Do a good stretch again, and we're gonna do the other side. So swing your left leg up, swing it through next to your left hand, into runner's lunge, relax your right knee down. Take your left hand, put it on the inside of your left knee, and go into twisted dragon. You can drop your elbow if you want for a deeper stretch. This is a good stretch, stretch. and always remember to breathe through each posture in through your nose, out through your mouth, and come back to runner's lunge. And what are we gonna do now? We're gonna walk that foot over to the right hand and walk it out. Drop your left knee and go into pigeon. Again, you can stay here just breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, or you can come all the way down. The goal is you wanna try to get this inner heel all the way up to your chest, but we ain't doing that today because we're dying. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this as much as we can. You want your heel to be in alignment with your outer, with your inside hip, which is in this case, your right hip. And you know, some, you'll find that sometimes one hip is more open than the other. You know, our bodies are out of alignment most of the time. So that's why yoga is very good because it helps you get in alignment. So back to runner's lunge and go into downward facing dog again. Now, from here, we're gonna go into plank, which is straight, your back is straight. And use your muscles, ladies and gentlemen, and go down into cobra. Go down slow. He's up here. Now, if this is too much on your lower back, you can come right here and just do this. Same stretch, just like this. And just breathe in and out. All right, we hope you feel a bit more centered and relaxed. We'll be right back. We're gonna do some more stuff. Bye. <laughs>
And we're back. Last pose. Everybody's gonna love. It's called the lying side cobra. What is the lying side corpse pose? Mm -hmm. So everybody just lay on your side. Nice. Now on the left side, because that's where you have better circulation, you bend your knees, you take your left arm and it's at uh, shoulder length. You just have this arm here. And this is actually good. It lowers blood pressure. So for all of us that have high blood pressure, you want to lay on your left side. It's best for circulation. And then just relax. And if you're at home, you can use a yoga block. Put that on your, under your head or a pillow. And just chill. Nice. <laughs> you, this is actually a good sleep. This is a good time. Mm -hmm. This is how I sleep. This I, then you just turn up like this. Good old stretch. And we thank you all so much for joining us today on Sister Circle Live. We're going to go to sleep. But we'll be back tomorrow.